guys, it's Amber from Peppy's SD Teacherista. I'm going to show y'all how I organize all of my files on an external hard drive. So um, when I plug it in, I have three tabs. I have things that um, I utilize when I'm creating for Teachers Pay Teachers, items that I've created for Teachers Pay Teachers, and then I also have my actual digital filing cabinet. So when you look at my tabs, you'll see that I have the core subjects separated, but I also have this tab called months, and that's because I'm not going to teach um, Halloween poems at the end of the school year. So um, things that are particular to that season or that month, I have them in this section. And you can even double layer them in your months and then in your other tabs also, but this is just what works for me. So if you hit April, May, spring, you'll see I have all the different holidays and then I have um, all of my items that I've purchased or maybe freebies that I've downloaded that I don't wanna lose in this section. Um, if you go back and um, see like my English, I have everything broken down by um, content and I teach in Texas, so we have the Texas Teaks, but um, that's like how Common Core has those um, their own standards, but I never know if they're going to be changed and then all of my numbers that I've cataloged could be incorrect one year later, so this just works for me. Math is the same. I have everything broken down by different um, standards and writing, social studies, and then I just have miscellaneous things that I've um, accumulated, like classroom management stuff that I don't want to lose. But that is how I organize my files. 